hey guys welcome back how are you i hope you are good and doing well so in the last lecture we finished the third task of assignment number four which is to implement the notification setting for the currently signed in user okay and we did this using one to one association where we use belongs to and has one association from the rails okay now we need to move on to the part which is send email to job seekers users who opted for new job posting notification however if you wish you can correct the description of the task or just like send email to job seekers or users who opted for notification settings okay or who has the notification setting and send email to the selected options when such event occurs okay but one thing i would like to tell you here that this feature is dependent upon this feature okay so that's why i merged the pull request of the task number three into the base branch okay so my main branch is uh, updated right now okay so you need to take pull of the main branch if you want to directly work on the task number four okay otherwise you can see the pull request here okay so you can see that these are the eight pairs that we have closed so far and this is the latest pair that we worked in the last task okay so we created five commits here and there are total nine files that we changed okay so you can check uh, uh, all these files okay or you can directly take pull from the main branch and you just need to use git pull origin main okay and then you will have the latest code and you can directly start working on the task number four okay and which is send email to job seeker user who has notification setting okay now before we start working on this task we need to discuss something about notification mailer okay so this is the custom mailer but we must have idea about action mailer so what is the action mailer so action mailer is a module which is responsible for sending emails from your rails application to the outside users okay and it is just like uh, active record models and active rec action controllers so in active record models what we do that we handle the business logic okay and in action controller what we do we handle the uh, we manage the controller logics in the controller and in action mailer we will manage uh, handle the logic of sending the email outside the rails application okay so what we need to do that first we need to create a mailer okay so go to the terminal and check out the branch that you have so jit branch okay so you can see right now we are on the main branch okay so we need to create a new branch let's say git checkout hyphen b and then feature and here branch name let's say notifications mailer implementation okay so you created this new branch okay now we need to generate a mailer so just like we generate controllers and active record models we have a generator command for mailer too so okay so raise g mailer okay and then your mailer name so let's say notification mailer Okay, and then your mailer action name for example let's say when new job created okay so this will generate a mailer and this will create a view directory into the uh, app views with name your mailer name notification mailer and it will create by default two templates text.erb and html.erb okay so but we will keep only the html.erb so in the views you can see this notification mailer and here you can see these two templates okay so let's remove this text.erb okay and just keep this uh, when new job created dot html.erb okay and here in the app mailers you can see this notification mailer okay so it is just like controller that you can generate a controller along with the action name and it will create a default view directory for the mail controller name and similarly do for the mailer name and the view template for the mailer action as well okay now we need to implement this so for example we will uh, just keep it for now and we need to expect some argument here okay and that argument will be the all the users who has the role job seeker okay and they must have notification setting present and they must have opted for this option which is this in the notification form you can see that they must have opted this option that on new job post okay so we need to 
implement our mailer based upon this setting okay so let me uh, clear it again let's say we need to send email to the users who has notification setting present in the database and who has opted for this option okay so only if this condition met we need to send out email from our mailer to the users okay and now what we need to do here that uh, we have this company jobs controller okay and here you can see that uh, what setting we are calling here is that when new job post okay so whenever a new company post a new job we need to find all the users who has the notification setting present in the database and then we will send out email to them and only if they have opted the own new job create option okay so here once the job is saved what you need to do that first we need to find all the users okay users equal to user dot where and then role is job seeker okay this is how we can do this is how we can find all the users who has the uh, role as job seeker okay and one more thing that i'm just doing it in straightforward we will see that how we can refactor and optimize this process much better when we work with the active jobs right now we will send the emails without active job okay so let's run this query on the rails console to find that how many users we have okay so let's say open the rails console dot count if you run this query you will see that we have total 1000 users who has the notification setting present in the database so do we need to send emails or notification email to all such users no this is not right okay why because we need to send the users who has the role uh, job seeker but they must have a notification setting present in the database and they are in their notification setting on new job create option must be selected or must be set to true in the database then only we will send out the notification okay now let's try to find out that uh, some map okay in here user user if user dot notification setting dot present and user dot notification setting dot let's say what is the field name uh, exactly <laughs> so here we can get on new job post okay on new job post yeah this is returning all the users even they have nil so let's run the compact here okay so now you can see that we have only two users out of the 1000 users okay so we do not have to send email to all the 1000 users who has the role job seeker but we only need to send email to the users who has opted for this condition okay now let me find that a user user equal to user dot find 1998 okay and then user dot notification setting so you can see that on new job post is, is set to true okay now let's make it false on new job post to false okay so it is updated now if you get it you can see that this option is false and rest of the options are set to true okay but we need to check when posting a job that if there is any users who has this option set to true okay so now if you run the previous query okay so here you will see only one record okay so that means there are two more than one users who has the notification present in the database but there is only one user who has selected that events option when a new job posted and 
so only he should receive that email not the user even if they have notification setting present in the database okay so this is that this, this is how we need to send emails to our user okay now let's say how we can rectify that so here you can see that it is loading notification setting query for all the users okay so let's uh, make it uh, eager loaded dot includes notification setting okay so now you can see that we resolve the uh, n plus one query and we are coding only with that data okay so here we need to run that query okay so these are all the users that we need to fetch from the database okay so just copy this and paste it into the jobs controller okay so here this is how it should work so let's uh, refactor it and then add the map here and then compact okay so we are using compact because if we do not use the compact we can get the nil values as well okay so we need to use reduce the uh, nil emails sorry nil values from the array of users okay and now we need to call the notification mailer okay so here is how we can do that so in notification email what is the, our action so our action is when new job created okay so you can use this notification mailer here uh, this name here notification mailer dot this action name okay okay and then users okay or you can receive the users here okay but sorry users but there is a still one issue it will return the array of users okay from here like we have multiple users that can receive the email so we will we are passing multiple uh, an array of multiple users to this action okay so does it make sense to mail a send email like that okay instead what we can do here that uh, we can simply iterate it through let's say users dot h2 uh, let's say user and here and within this loop what we can do user dot deliver now okay and then in this we can simply get user okay and now what more arguments we needed here we needed the job details as well okay so we will call at the rate we will pass at the rate job as well here okay so because we want to send notification to the user that this job has been posted so we must add the job link into the mail and job details into the mail like what company it is or what is the description of the job and for the full details we need to add the job link okay so we need this job argument as well okay so similarly we need to use the job here okay and then at the rate user sorry at the rate user equal to user at the rate job equal to job okay so now we have these two objects created here now what we need to do that our part from the uh, create action has been done okay so what we did here here you can see we first fetch all the users who has role job seeker and then we are eager loading this notification setting and then we are mapping for all the who has the role job seeker but we are filtering it out like user must has the notification setting present in the database and this option must be set to true okay because there could be multiple users who has the notification setting records but this option is false okay so that does not make sense uh, to send an event uh, send in notification email for this event okay so we need to filter based on that as well okay and then compact to filter out the nil elements okay and then we are iterating through the users collection that we here uh, that we received here okay now we can check one more thing here let's say 
what happen if you receive the blank array of users okay so you need to mention it like if users dot present okay if users dot present then only we will execute this block okay so if users dot present then it read through this log and at the notification mailer when sorry this is the notification mailer class or whatever your mailer name is okay so this is the mailer class dot action and then argument to that action and then deliver now okay we will replace the deliver now with deliver later when we start using the active jobs okay because that becomes hectic and i will show you that how we can improve this uh, process okay so now let's make some checks here and then let's say find all the users with notification settings present and selected the option for receive the notification when new job posted okay and then here you can add a comment like send email to users one by one okay this is how you can do and then in the notification mailer you need to do mail and then to here you can use add that user dot email and then subject then we can add a subject like that a new job posted and then add that job dot title okay so this is the two this is the uh, argument to send the email and it accepts two argument okay two and subject so what is the two attribute that to which user we want to send the email that is the user dot email and this the subject like with what subject we want to send the email okay and now let me tell you one more thing that uh, uh, yeah in the application mailer here we can uh, update the default form default form so from at the rate job portal dot com okay now we need to send out this email but uh, this email will not be visible in the browser because we do not have any email configuration so what we will do here that we will use the letter opener gm okay so go to the browser and here let's add letter opener gm so when you click on this letter opener gm link you will find it uh, you will find the gem definition here so just copy this and go to the gem file at the bottom add this run the bundle install sorry. run the bundle install okay the letter opener gem will be added to your project okay so let's this bundle finish now let's do this setting so we need to copy this and then open the development.rb okay so at the end of the file we need to do this okay just do that but still there is something remaining to send the email so we can get that line from the let's say device gem okay so open the device device rails okay just click on it because we forget to add this line into our mailer while uh, into our development.rb while we generated that so we need this line okay config.actionmailer.default url option okay so now open the development.rb and here we need to do that Okay, so now all set to receive our first email when a new job created okay so let's go to the browser and here oh sorry let me restart the server rel says okay and now let's uh, refresh the page okay and sign out from this user because this is the job seeker right now okay and now let's sign in with uh, a employer okay
okay now let's post a job so company jobs and post a new job so let's say senior ruby on rails developer required okay and then description you can say anything like for example let's say uh, what we can say lorem ipsum so let's being open okay we did not get text okay sorry this ellipsum generator and we will just copy a paragraph for the description value so just copy this paragraph and paste it into the description then select a job type let's say con full time for example applicable for experienced job location is let's say on site salary range let's say 5000 to 10000 dollar total position let's say 2 the status is active okay now make some space here but before we create this job we need to implement some uh, implementation into the mailer template which is when new job created okay so here we will say hello at the rate user dot name okay and then a new job posted okay so here what you can do at the rate job dot title okay let's keep it uh, for this point only to send out the email okay so now we finish the implementation not finished we just uh, testing this so that is enough for the testing okay so hello then current username and then a new job posted at red job dot title okay the title will be shown here and now go to the notification email so the mail is at the user dot email subject is a new job posted in the jobs controller what we did that we are already finding all the users with notification setting present and selected the option for receive the notification when new job posted okay so let's do that okay so this has happened right now and we are checking if user present then we are iterating through all the users okay and then we will we are calling the notification mailer dot when new job posted with these arguments and deliver now okay so now let's test this uh, mailer functionality so that we can see where we what we did correct here or what we did wrong now let's click on the post job okay so here you can see that the user who has this uh, notification setting and opted this option on new job post is receiving the email that hello steven torres a new job posted senior ruby on rails developer required okay so this is how we can send the email okay and now we can verify this user so let's go to the terminal open the rails console and here what we need to do we need to run the query okay so that we can get this user and you can see that the name of this user is steven porus and we have the name method defined in the user model okay so this is our action mailer is working here okay at a high level okay so we need to fix something still in this part that uh, we need to properly organize this uh, letter opener sorry this mailer template okay like we need to style this we need to provide the correct details because right now you can only see this basic detail that hello username and that a new job posted senior ruby on rails developer required okay and then we will add further details here okay and we will test this notification for all the events okay like uh, let me show you this users go to the terminal dot last dot notification setting sorry
okay so here you can see on new job post we tested this we need to check like on removal of favorite job true on removal of existing job true on status change or applied job true and on job status change true okay so we need to test our mailer functionality for all such event and we will create different mailer functionalities for that okay and once this get finished we will move to the active jobs to sending out the email for the better performance because right now if you can see where the server is running in the logs that when a new job posted the user filtering is uh, performed simultaneously right after uh, inserting the job into the database and our mailer being invoked there and it is sending the email but these processes should not be happen in the terminal eh, sorry it, with, along with the request or along with after saving the database it should be happen in the background and we need to use active jobs for that okay but we will do that in upcoming lectures and we will also try to find a way to do this with more better way like here you can see that we are performing the iteration here using my map function and so on so we will reduce this uh what's a iteration as well okay but this is the part that we will do in upcoming lectures and mainly when we will go to the active jobs okay so this is how we can implement the mailer okay so our mailer is working and we will meet into the next lecture to uh, finish our mailer template implementation which is when new job created okay and we will add more details here and we will add a link when a user click on that link he will see the job form a job being opened into the browser okay so that is the part that we will do in the next lecture okay but uh, i hope you like this lecture so far so follow this and we will be into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care stay safe